Welcome to Electro Online. Here's one more example of how to find the line currents in a delta Y circuit. We're given that the impedance is 12 plus J15. We converted it to a magnitude and phase angle format and that the voltage between A and B is 240 volts with a phase angle of 15 degrees. So right away what we should do is find the equivalent phase voltage. We know that the phase voltage VAN is equal to VAB divided by the square root of 3. That's for the adjustment for the magnitude because the phase voltage is smaller than the line voltage, the equivalent line voltage, and then we have to subtract 30 degrees from the phase angle. So we have whatever phase angle we started with and we subtract from that 30 degrees. So go ahead and plugging in the values. This is equal to 240 volts divided by the square root of the 3 with a phase angle of 15 minus 30 degrees. So this becomes equal to 240 divided by the square root of 3, which is 138.56 with a phase angle of minus 15 degrees. And of course, that's in terms of volts. So there we have the equivalent phase voltage for the equivalent YY circuit. And now what we can do is find I sub A, which is equal to the equivalent phase voltage A sub N divided by the impedance. So in this case, that would be 138.56 with a phase angle of minus 15 degrees. There should be a 1 here. And we divide that by the impedance, which is 19.21 with a phase angle of 51.34 degrees. So we take 138.56 divided by 19.21. That gives us 7.21. So I sub A is equal to 7.21 with a phase angle of, that would be 66.34 degrees, and that's in terms of amps. So there's our first line voltage, uh, line current, not voltage, line current, I sub A. All right, and let's see here, that should be a minus, shouldn't it? Minus 66.34 degrees. Now we find the next two line currents, I sub B, which is equal to I sub A, same magnitude, but another phase angle, apart 120 degrees. So 7.21 with a phase angle of minus 186.34 degrees. And I sub C is 7.21 with a phase angle of minus 306.34 degrees. And so you can see, quite readily, once you find the equivalent phase voltage, in terms of the voltage was given, VAB, have a phase angle difference. Once we have VA sub N, we divide it by the impedance, and then we get the three line currents in a quick succession. And that's how it's done.